The Elite Scooter is Honda's all-new entry into the American Scooter lineup. Sourcing a 108cc four-stroke single, the Elite bridges the displacement gap between the SH150i, also new for 2010, and the smaller 50cc Ruckus and Metropolitan. The near 110 power is immediately impressive. Savvy city commuters will dash off the green lights with plenty of pop and engage in the quick passes and darty maneuvers like speedy left-hand turns that are required for high-intensity metropolitan traffic. As much pep as the Elite provides, we were more surprised by the brakes. In particular, the combined braking system that links the front disc with the rear drum was so effective that we used the left lever almost exclusively. The suspension and small scooter wheels delivered a jarring ride on LA's deteriorating surface streets, but we aren't going to complain too much as they held up to speedy maneuvering. Speaking of which, the Elite feels incredibly light and easy to toss around, fitting everywhere and squeezing through traffic thanks to California windscreen. A 1.6 gallon tank will get you about 160 miles with Honda claiming an approximate 100 mile per gallon efficiency. Though the legroom was cramped for a 6 foot 1 frame, the overall riding position was comfortable and more in tune with us ergonomically than some other Asian built scooters we've ridden in the past. Storage capacity is an impressive 35 liters under seat and accommodates a full faced helmet with plenty of room to spare. A 25 liter accessory top case is also available. The $29.99 asking price will get you Honda build quality and reliability with a one year warranty. It's well worth the extra $500 from the Ruckus and Metropolitan models and is a full $1,500 less than the SH150i. They say you meet the nicest people on a Honda and we certainly found ourselves in a good mood riding the Elite around town. We have no qualms recommending the Elite for urban commuters looking for a reliable, fuel efficient, and most important, fun ride around town.